show your support, like, share and subscribe. back again it's another fortnight it is that was a quick one it was actually it did it, it does actually feel like it's been quite quick feels like a quick one maybe that's because we saw each other this time last week ish oh i suppose so actually yeah. yeah so it hasn't actually felt like it yeah no fair enough i'm guessing that was it yes it was a lovely day that was in the gaming market it was wonderful time had by all why especially is it? us four yeah why do they only do it once a year in that place. Why can't you just do it every now and again? What, like every week? <laughs> yes, that'd be great. <laughs> just just have that building permanently set as a yeah. as a gaming market. On the off chance that we might happen to be free that weekend so that we can just pop down there whenever's convenient. <laughs> yeah, pop down that hour and a half drive or hour train yeah. or whatever it is. Exactly. <laughs> have you been making That's... use of your purchases from that day? Uh, I have been making use of one of them, um, of which I will be discussing a little bit later on. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I have tried to make the Mario Kart thing work, and the SNES is still not wanting to cooperate with my TV. Uh-huh. I think it's that the TV is too new to understand the archaic signal <laughs> of the um, of the console. That makes sense. Because it works okay. with it works with everything from sort of PlayStation One and newer. Right. Okay. <laughs> so I'm I'm thinking that's probably why it's not been overly kind with my um, N64 either. So <laughs> I'm still troubleshooting that because obviously we're going to need it for a Mario Kart collection. Yes, there will be ways around it. I assume. Yeah, I just need to do a bit more research on my end to really work out troubleshooting how to make it work. Um, but yeah, uh, there there is definitely a way because I've seen people doing it with the um, the capture card that we both own. So yeah. there there is definitely a way to make that work. And I kind of want to start that series with the beginning game. It yeah. would be a shame not to. So oh yeah, definitely that'd be good. Yeah. Um, yes. I'm looking forward to the... I keep calling it Mario Kart through the years. I don't know if we've yeah. um, confirmed that title, but it's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it works. It is. That is what it is. Yeah. I don't think I've played the SNES one since I was genuinely about 10. Oh, OK. Uh, the GameCube one, actually. Sorry, Double Dash. I don't think yeah. I've ever played the SNES one. <laughs> well, I've owned the Double Dash one on the GameCube for... <sighs> Probably close to ten years, and yeah. I don't think I've ever played it. Ah, oh, okay. Um, and the SNES one, I've only just purchased that after having it years and years and years ago. So, uber rusty on that. <laughs> um, and I've never owned the N sixty four one, oh, although okay. I've played it a few times. And yeah, the the other two, you'll probably have me dead to rights on. But there we go. <laughs> There, where we used to work in London, there was a pub round the corner that had like retro game styley de- decor, I'll call it. Mm. But um, they also had a small telly, and they had um, Mario Kart on the N sixty four there in the actual oh, that's pub. Cool. Yeah, it was in such high demand though. I never actually officially <laughs> made use of it. <laughs> I just watched various people play it, but it was still fun. It was still good to know it was there. That is a pretty cool inclusion, though. I like yeah. that. I remember being on a stag do in Bristol once and I went downstairs and they had like a 50 inch telly with Sega Mega Drive on there and they had Sonic on and I was like, ah, can we just stay here? (laughs) (laughs) I bet that was as blurry as hell on a TV that size. Oh, of course. Once you've had a couple of, um, you know, tap waters and Coca-Colas, of course, (laughs) you don't mind. (laughs) The whole world feels a bit blurry then, yes. Indeed, yeah. Well, cool. I, I've I've filled in the gap of my of my um, gaming market sort of experience today. Mm. But yeah, um, did you want me to start? I can crack on with it and get on with that one now. Well, the only thing I was going to say before you do start is uh-huh. that fake Game Boy Advance game. Oh right, yes. <laughs> any any updates? It's definitely well. It's half English, half Spanish. Right. 
And, well, all of the moves and the in-battle stuff is Spanish. <laughs> okay. Every single bit of it. So, yeah, I'm having to guess with um, the move type, its PP and its power on what the move actually is. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, what, based on your knowledge of what moves these Pokemon can use and what their cost is and yeah. <laughs> things like that. Oh, okay. But yeah. the dialogue between characters is in English, is it? Uh, broken English, but yes. <laughs> oh, okay. It's almost as if, you know, you get a Spanish phrase, click English, and then see what the phrase says. You know, instead of instead of saying, I'm going to nick down to the shops, they'll say something like, to the shops I walk. And I'm like, right, okay, I'll try and decipher this. <laughs> yeah, got ya. I mean, I don't think I'll play it all the way through. <laughs> that sounds like a better way of having it, though, because at least, like, with the battle stuff, once you've kind of worked out what the moves are, if that makes sense, Yeah. even if it means you end up writing them down on a piece of paper to have to hand as a guide, at least you can kind of follow the general story if it's in some kind of version of English rather than yeah. the other way round <laughs> where it would be nigh on impossible to play. Yes, indeed. It's, um... Yeah, it. I will keep going with it. <laughs> I don't know how far I'll get with it, but I will keep going with it. How cheap was that? That was a fiver. Oh, not too bad then. No, it was all right. It, it was worth it to see a game you've never heard of. Mm. Obviously fake fan-made, because they do the rounds. But then yeah. just think, well, for five pounds, <laughs> I could just yeah. have a laugh and see what they've done with it. <laughs> kind of makes me want to do a fan game myself. Yeah, they, there's a lot online which I'm now tempted to look into. To be honest, oh, what that you can download? Yeah, and then actually play on a laptop or computer based. Ah, uh, what system. in a kind of Game Boy or Game Boy Advance type emulator? Yeah, I believe so. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so I might actually have a look at them. Hmm. We shall see. <laughs> you never we know, there might see. be a Pokemon Pidge out there one day <laughs> then. Yeah, there might be. I, I, if I knew how, <laughs> I would probably still not do it. Because <laughs> I'm lazy. No, you know, no, that'd be cool. <laughs> I've got ideas for it, hence the furrow region type stuff as well. Ah, uh, so. Yes. That could which work I'm quite nicely. getting round, which I'm getting round to doing the next part for. <laughs> I'm getting there. Nice. I've done the next town, and I just want to do the next route because that would be actually quite nice to do. Oh, what? So that you see the route to the town, and then yeah, a little bit beyond it in one video. Indeed. Oh, okay, that's so cool. We'll see. Nice. But yeah, that'll be coming up in the next month or so, whenever I've got time to finish it. Probably, I might try tomorrow actually. Okay. However, I've got a few purchases I want to try and make use of beforehand. Purchases from today? Pur yes, purchases from today, indeed. Ah, Segway. Segway. <laughs> Segway, Link. Uh, yes, um, yeah, Segway into Comic-Con, basically. Only about an hour and a half home from, from that. On ah. Friday, MCM Comic-Con London in the XL. Nice. Another fantastic day out. Will absolutely recommend that to anyone. Mm -hmm. Another day of not really bumping into anyone that was annoying. <laughs> nice. It's a completely fantastic environment where everyone gets on with each other. I did um, cosplay as Fat Thor. Fat Thor? Fat Thor, <laughs> yeah. It's from the new Endgame film. It's not really giving away any spoilers there. but it's Spo Spoilers, he gets fat, apparently. Yes, yeah, at, at points, yes. <laughs> so I, I did that, and uh, there was a good... I think there was three of us walking like walking around and kept bumping into each other. Three fat Thors. <laughs> <laughs> try, try saying that fast yes. ten times when you're drunk. <laughs> one of uh, Yeah, one of them I bumped into sort of in the foyer area, I'm going to call it, like the corridors outside. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think he'd... I think he was very happy, or you know, by the by the mannerisms and the smell of his breath and the pint of beer he had in his hand with a straw in it. I think he was, in, <laughs> I think he was enjoying himself. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we got a, got a picture of we got a picture of each other so together. Mm. That was good. Yeah, that's another fantastic day. I recommend it to anyone. There's another one in October. 
Yes. So want yeah. to go to that one. Yeah. Meant meant to go to this one. I think initially me and Karina discussed going tomorrow. Oh yeah. Um but yeah, finances just didn't let us. Yeah, exactly right. But yeah, definitely October would be quite nice to to head down there because it does sound like a fun day had by all. It is actually. It's a really good experience. Lots of Sailor Moon stuff this time round as well. Oh, ah, that'll please her. Yeah, a, a lot of it. I don't know if it's been like rejuvenated over the past six months, but there was a hell of a lot of it this time. Well, it's it might be to do with all those redubbings that she was mentioning the oh, other day right. yeah. on the train on Very the way home point. from Norwich um, that she showed me they're redubbing all of the old ones and all of the ones that weren't dubbed. So... Yeah, very good point. That it might could be have been that. bringing it back to the forefront, possibly. Very possibly. I shall let her know. Yeah, yeah. No, it's worth it for October. Definitely go there. We will be going again, as we always do. Cool. I think I've gone to seven in a row now. So <laughs> <laughs> I've got myself a Pokemon plush every time. I got a Munchlax this time. So <laughs> not that you know what that is. No. It's <laughs> yeah. So that's good. But yeah. No, I'm. You know, so I've, um, over the past week, found myself a 60 gigabyte PS3. Oh, back- you did get one? Yeah, backwards compatible. Oh, nice. That's good. You know, got it home, realised it wasn't the right one, they'd sold me the wrong one. <laughs> oh. Sort of checked it over in, you know, checked it over in the shop, and it was exactly right. And I have no idea how, but between that, you know, giving it back to the guy to pack into a bag and taking it home, he somehow managed to swap it out for a completely different one. Excellent. That was great. That was a good Sunday. So. <laughs> where, where was that? That was Chelmsford um, CEX. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, they're usually quite Idiots. good, though. So, well, anyway, I took it back on the Monday with the receipt. I was just like, I, I, this isn't this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see that? That's not what it is here. <laughs> I just didn't want them to think I'd brought in a dodgy PS3 and I was trying to chance it. Yeah. But luckily, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, luckily, obviously, the PS3 was there. So just the guy basically just swapped it. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. So, it, yeah, he just swapped them around. But, yes, I have that now. Oh, that's cool. So I have the capabilities of playing PS3, 2, 1, and 4, obviously. Mm-hmm. As well as the N64 and the Switch. You're catching me up, sir. Indeed. And also, one of today's purchases, I got myself a GameCube. Ah, cool. Indeed, which is something I've always wanted. Yes. Always wanted. Yeah, this is... <laughs> I'm not rolling in money. This is just a result of doing about six weeks' worth of six till six shifts. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Brexit, as some people would yeah. say. Pay so, a plank. Yeah, I've, I've earned enough to save some money. Yeah. And then have some money to get those two things. They were the two things I wanted. GameCube and PS3 backwards compatible. Nice. So, yeah, in the space of about seven days, Pidge has got another four available console-type games. Yes, PS1 technically, yeah, with the, with the 1, 2, 3. Yeah, it saves yeah. you getting the, the old PS1 and the PS2. Indeed. Don't know how relevant... Oh, relevant? Don't know how frequent I'm going to be using them on the channel... Or what I'm going to be doing yet. <laughs> I've just bought them for yeah. fun at the moment, and I'll figure it out later. That's fine. Yeah, it keeps your options open. Have you got a Wii as well? I do have a Wii. I haven't got it plugged in at all, but I've got one, yeah. No, yeah. I, I thought you just when you were listing them just now. Oh, yes. Yeah, I've got that one Wii. out. So. Yeah, that, that, that's been in the box for a good year, I think. I don't think I've had that out for a very long time. Oh, OK. But I might have to get that out soon. That's, that's a good game. That's cool. Yeah. Wii, yeah, Wii Sports, the free game that came with it. You couldn't go wrong with Wii Sports, could you? Bit of no, bowling, bit of tennis. <laughs> probably one of the, the best-selling games on the the entire console, I would have yeah. assumed. Yeah, it was... It. I think, yeah, I think Wii Sports did what iToy tried to do. <laughs> yes. Cause, and, and failed to do. It, Miserably, yes. It was definitely. terrible. <laughs> yes. Even for the time, it was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, you, I, I do remember having it, just thinking, uh, "What am Why? I doing?" Yeah. What is this? Obviously, you know, like I think the window washing one was the most ridiculous. Because mm. obviously, you're supposed to put your hands out and wipe like you're cleaning windows. 
Sounds but fun. As, but as soon as everyone realised all you can do is just outstretch your arms straight and then just like bob up and down in half a <laughs> second and complete it, you're like, right, well, that's pointless. <laughs> that, that, that has completely broken that mechanic, yeah. yeah. But yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was... That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it yeah. sounds good, though. Adding, adding those consoles is, uh, yeah, as you say, even if you don't know exactly what you plan on doing with stuff this second yeah who knows what that opens up in the future exactly right yeah i've got um i'm gonna try uh my run through of uh let's go eevee i'm gonna record that over this weekend Mm -hmm. possibly ready for next weekend what starting it or intending to go all the way through it um starting it i'm gonna see how that goes down with the uh the lovely viewership that we have Uh Hopefully that should be fun. I'll do a few of those first. Uh, yeah. Get fact is going to be less frequent while that's going on. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, and also I'm running out of facts that are interesting enough. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're like exceptionally into Pokemon, I'm running out of facts, if that makes sense. And not to say that people listening aren't, but of yeah. course some of them are very I suppose you want it to niche. be fairly kind of accessible facts. Oh, exactly. Yeah, I want it yeah. to. I want to please everyone. Yeah. But yes, um, yeah, and I'm also going to record a video over this weekend, which is tasting nine different flavours of Pokemon drinks, which is something I've, um, yeah, something I accumulated today. I, <laughs> they're called okay. Ocean Bombs, and they're basically sugary, sparkling water of different flavours. Cool. So bye bye teeth. Yes, <laughs> I don't think I don't think I'll have the whole can of all of them. Well, to be fair, one of them is just original flavour, and it's just sparkling water. Oh, okay. So I, I might just put some black carrot with it or something. That is quite original. Yeah, but yeah, there's some strange flavours in there. There's an apple flavour and a cider flavour, I believe. Cool. So I can't really see what the difference would be. No, there's a muscat grape, orange, peach. There was something else that I've forgotten. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, so there's going to be some interesting ones in there. Yeah. And all, they're really nice designs on the cans as well. So there'll be cool. a backdrop, hopefully. Oh, OK. Ah. But Fair yeah, point. I can't really think of much else I got today. I, I was just making sure I got my backwards compatible PS3 and a GameCube. That was my big ones for my overtime money, as well as obviously putting some into savings. Indeed, yeah. We did try and look for them the other weekend, didn't we? But there yeah. wasn't really... There wasn't really anything. No, not at uh, all. Really. Gettable. No. If that's but a word, hey. it is now. <laughs> Obtainable. That's the one. That's, that's the an one. actual. <laughs> that's an actual word in the language. That's an actual that English. Use. That's word. an actual English word. Apparently, that exists yeah. in a dictionary and everything. <laughs> exactly. Gettable. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> we'll add it in, and then it won't be as bad. Exactly. In I'll biro. Give, yeah, I'll give Susie Dent a message. <laughs> I'll DM her on Twitter, which I'm being more active on. People should what, follow on me. Twitter or Susie Dent's Twitter? <laughs> well, both. I might do. I might have to do it every day now and get a. Re- no, that'd be <laughs> harassment. That wouldn't it? That would just be creepy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's basically my day. Really, it's been fun. Dressed up as Fat Thor. Had a hoodie and a dressing gown on, and nice sweated. Warm day for it. Buckets. Yes, exactly. Oh God, that was. Yeah, it got to about 12, 1 o'clock, and me and my other half just took our heavy bags down to the car. I got changed into a T-shirt, the one I'm wearing now, actually. Not that anyone can see, but you can. Well, I can. Yeah. Literally (laughs) changed my top half in a car park underneath the XL, and, yeah, I instantly felt the relief of the heat dissipating away. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's so much better. (laughs) That's a good idea. Yes. But, yeah, that was my day. It was cool. lovely. Would recommend to anyone and definitely will be going again. Well, hopefully we'll be joining you or if the days don't tally up, we'll definitely be going down and experiencing it for ourselves. Yeah. Hopefully. It's, it's a very good day. It's easy Especially. to drive to, actually. Not that you... Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, OK. Very Fair easy enough. to drive to. Anyway, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I digress. I shouldn't no. hog all the light, the limelight, That's cool. whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, right. Well, I kind of just want to chat a little bit more about one of the purchases I made the other day, really. Okay. 
one that I highlighted ever so slightly at the end of our Norwich Gaming Market festivities. Ah, yes. Uh, the t- Twin Snakes game, which um, I managed to acquire thanks yes. to my lovely other half bartering skills for <laughs> the lovely sum, or I say lovely sum, mm. it's lovely in context of the game, of only 45 English pounds. Yeah. Yeah, from, I did, yeah, I saw you playing a, uh, the first couple of minutes I suppose yeah it was just kind of the the very kind of basic entry level um, before you kind of get to the first kind of outside bit into the base where you're kind of properly introduced to things I just wanted to sort of see what it looked like and have since played a few hours more this week Lovely. Um, is that recording or for personal use no no it's just been for personal um, I might do a recording later on. And I might put some kind of a poll out to see if there is much of a, a demand for me trying it out. Um, I might even do a kind of a comparison series of, okay. of it versus the PlayStation version if anyone is interested in that potentially. Is there um, noticeable differences? Well, ah. the... <laughs> Not to ruin a potential video here. There are, well, I'm sure anyone that is a fan of the series, like myself, would be aware of those differences anyway, because I've seen quite a lot of footage of it before. Right, okay. Um, Obviously, the graphics, there is a huge difference, because it looks like the second game that was released on the PlayStation 2. They basically used that kind of um, graphics capability because it was released on the GameCube um, only, I think, two or three years after the sequel. So, graphically, it's a hell of a lot better. The sound is recorded to a much higher quality as well. And, in fact, they had to re-record the entire voice casting for the entire game. Oh, okay. Because it was done initially for PlayStation 1, it was of such a bad quality, if they tried to upscale it for the GameCube, you would have got so much horrible kind of background noise. Um, mainly because it, I think it was recorded around someone's house oh, okay. rather than in a proper studio. But because it was recorded on inferior equipment for inferior hardware, you couldn't really hear any of the background noise. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. But... In, in trying to use that for the GameCube, they realised that to to make it clear enough, you got all of the background noise as well, so they had to re-record the entire thing. Right. Which led to three female characters getting very, very distinctive accent changes. Oh. Huh. Enough to change the plot or sort of... Uh, no. Narrative, there's, that's the word. There's, there's one character that was initially found in what was at the time Rhodesia, which was obviously occupied by um, the British Army years ago. So she had a very English accent, which made sense. She's still from that area, but she now sounds American. Okay. (laughs) Weird. That's um, that's different. Um, And there is another character with, um, I believe... A Chinese heritage. I think her parents were Chinese. Again, she sounds American. It's weird. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. The only the only kind of let off for those that I have is the fact that those characters pop back in the series later. Right. And okay. in that follow on game, they'd already lost their accents. Okay. So this one kind of ties into that other game a bit better because if you play this game and then that other game. They have the same accents, so you kind of have to ignore the original version. Yeah. But there is a character that doesn't come back at all who's supposed to be, I believe, from the Ukraine or possibly Russia, and she's lost most of her Russian accent, which is really annoying because in the original it was a very, very good accent, and now it's as weak as hell, and (laughs) it's almost unlistenable. Oh, right, okay. (laughs) Which is a shame. Now that you've got used to it one way. Yeah. And I've played that original game so many times, you kind of know what the inflection on the voice is and what the sound patterns are. So to hear those lines delivered so differently 
in almost a completely different voice is very, very odd. <laughs> I can only imagine, actually. Yeah. Yeah. But in terms of in terms of what I've played so far, it's it's quite fun. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Um, because they, I don't know why, but they seem to try and make every single um, cutscene almost look like a scene from the Matrix. Oh really? So there is so much slow motion and and um, kind of stopping and camera panning and like that bullet time technology that they had for that when. Neo was kind of fighting all the agents and stuff, yeah, and zipping around them and and missing punches and stuff. There, there's such an element of that. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Is it almost unnecessarily weird? Oh yeah, it's it's completely ah, okay. unnecessary. It's, it's absolutely ludicrous to watch. Sometimes a little bit of it kind of adds to what you're watching, but rather than do sort of ten seconds of it, they'll do it for a solid minute. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> yes, it's, it's getting a bit weird now. <laughs> I, I get it now. Stop. Yeah, it's, yeah. And then and then the next sequence comes in, in sort of, I don't know, two or three kind of screens along and something else happens and you get the exact same thing again. You're like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get it, guys. You've got this wonderful kind of technology feature that you want to use. You don't have to use it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> right, we get the point. Yeah. Don't do it again. <laughs> yeah, but they do. But, well, it's... Th- the thing is, I kind of went into it knowing that there was an element of that, but I didn't realise how much they really hammer that home. <laughs> not enough to ruin the enjoyment, though, I would hope. Um, not enough to enjoy... Uh, to, to kind of ruin the enjoyment of the actual gaming experience. Okay. It does kind of break some of the the immersion with what you're watching because obviously it's quite cutscene heavy yeah um and sometimes it does kind of take you out of it a bit there but the actual gaming side of things because it they they, they've kind of kept the the map so true to the original and they've kept all of the mechanics so true to the sequel yeah that's quite a nice enjoyment and people have argued that that kind of breaks some elements of the game Okay. Um, which there might be a little bit of an argument for that because before you had a very sort of fixed 3D camera and now you can do a lot of first person stuff Yeah. Um, and you can do um, like a couple of extra techniques like hanging from railings and things that you couldn't do on the first one which makes oh, certain okay. areas easier but to be honest I just kind of see it as a different experience yeah. It means that you're not just playing the original game because you might as well just play that. Yeah. It okay. feels different enough, so yeah, I'm having fun. That's all right, then. That's good. Yeah, which is the main point of a game, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> to have <laughs> exactly fun. Exactly right. And to be honest, if I want the kind of initial atmosphere and feeling that I got from the first game, I've still got it on the PlayStation One. I can just play that version. Yeah, oh, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's it's kind of. Both games delivering different things, but just using the same map characters and storyline. Okay. That's kind of how how I'm looking at it anyway. Yeah. That sounds alright. Yeah. So, who knows. I might... I'll, I'll get to the end and... and Or towards the end and see if people want to see more of it. Um, and then kind of go from there, really. Yeah. If they do, I'll, I'll see what I can do and hopefully get weekly or fortnightly gameplay sounds like it'll be worth it to be honest yeah the only thing I'm not sure is because it is so dialogue heavy whether to just cut all those bits out ah okay because there will be times where it's just here is 15-20 minutes of me not being able to really interact with stuff because you've got to watch a (laughs) cutscene and I suppose when it comes back to the gameplay you can just explain if need be yeah. So when it will be cut back, you're like, right, I just need to go to this place because this person needs this thing or something along. You know, yeah, exactly. That's very yeah. much the, simplified. The, but yeah. yeah, this person has said that we need to go and talk to this person to help us find this item. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. That sums up the last ten minutes. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. And the good thing is because I've 
played the game so many times, any bits like that I can just do on the fly anyway. Oh, right, yeah, because you'll know so what's I'll, happening. So I'll know exactly where in the game I am, so I can kind of fill in the gaps for anyone that hasn't experienced it at all. Yeah. And kind of be like, oh, this character popped up, they said this to me because of this, so now we're going to go and do this. Yeah, makes sense. Rather than have people watch a 10-minute conversation between three people. Very much makes sense, actually. Yeah. Yeah, well, I shall be viewing that if it were uh, to come to fruition. Cool. Or when, yeah. If or when, I suppose. I think, yeah, I, hopefully I will probably probably do something. Or if not, just a few videos of, of maybe me against the bosses or me against certain sections of the game. Oh, OK, yeah. Just to just to kind of give it a bit of a a bit of a run out um cuz well, I've spent the money on it. I might as well get get something out of it now that I've bought the damn thing. I've been yeah. looking for it for long enough, so yeah, we'll 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 sort of see, but that'll definitely be a post holiday thing, so don't expect it kind of within the next month or two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've got your you've got your videos planned for the next month, they're fine. <laughs> yes, yes. In fact I've got to start getting a little bit ahead because I ah, will be away yeah. as of towards the end of June. So Yeah. I wanna get a bit to... ahead just to enjoy the new consoles. <laughs> ah, good point, yes. Have you got games for PS one and two to play on the three? I have a few. Oh, okay. I uh, two it was two for a fiver in this massive tray today, so I bought um, original Ratchet and Clank for PS2 and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Oh, nice. Always a classic. I was surprised they were both in there as two for a fiver. I was like, really? Wow. <laughs> That'll do. I'd have paid a fiver for them on their own. Um, yeah, I've got Simpsons Hit and Run as well. Oh, okay. Always good. A few football y ones like the LMA managers. Uh, other things that I can't remember <laughs> Destruction Derby that was always good just to crash a car into another car and somehow win <laughs> <laughs> or or do the age old just sit there and let all of the cars yes. drive into each other at the beginning and destroy each other and you win by default yes that is literally what you can do on one level <laughs> yep because that's that. fun yeah, I really how do you win I... this level by not doing anything and engaging with nothing yep Sounds like the way any football team plays against Man City. <laughs> you yeah. didn't do anything. You drew nil nil. Well done. That's not. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I also bought two thousand uh, World Cup two thousand and two for PS two because I remember that being absolutely brilliant. And I played oh, okay. it, and it's absolutely unplayable. <laughs> it was, oh really? It was oh, the wow. most confusing thing I've ever done. <laughs> Switch player and pass was the same button, and I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, I can <laughs> see that not working quite yeah. badly. You had to be, you have to be parallel with the goal to shoot at the goal. It doesn't aim if you press left or right, if that makes sense. Cool. So if you press shoot and you're slightly off center of the goal, it will just go straight line wide, and you're like, right, okay. <laughs> what? I yeah. <laughs> Surely that like in. If you took that in reality, that would make things so simple for a goalkeeper. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, well. Ball is going in straight line. <laughs> Must dive over there. Oh, well. Yeah, so uh, wow. it, that was worth the 50p just to experience it again. I, I was going to say, I hope that wasn't kind of any more than a pound. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> cool. But, yeah, no, I will add to the collection over the next coming weeks. Cool. The, the good thing with uh, PS2 especially is they're so dirt cheap because they made so many games. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're ridiculously cheap and I'm very happy with that. Yeah. I'll be searching through all the second-hand shops whenever possible. Cool. Yeah. I'm not going to do that now. It's 7 o'clock. What I'm going to do is go get a bag of chips. That's a very good <laughs> idea. Because I have nothing in to cook. <laughs> cool. Well, I think we have some weird spinach and ricotta pasta things oh, so okay because i'm sure everyone's bothered about what we're going to be having for dinner tonight so it's the only reason why they listen it is yeah, yeah. yeah. we know it and guys this, it's fine and th this is probably the first time we've ever mentioned it so it's taken 15 15 it's probably i don't know uh i can tell you uh 14 ah this is episode 14. This is 14, It's yes. taken 14 episodes for us to mention it, and well done yeah. for bearing with us, but we finally mentioned food. Yeah, the weight, the weight was definitely worth it. Yeah. 
What are you guys having for dinner? Do let us know. In the comments <laughs> below. Or anything else that's relevant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think on that note... <laughs> yeah, I, it feels like on that note we're, we're, we're done. <laughs> yeah, I think we're out now. I think that's yeah. it. <laughs> All right, then. Well, thanks for listening again, everyone. And, yeah... Yes. yes. If you if you enjoyed that uh, wonderful <laughs> dinner conversation, please like the video and subscribe to both channels. Exactly. I, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. I managed to print out business cards of Pokey Pidge, and I took them round, and me and my other half managed to give some of them out to people <laughs> today. Oh, that's cool. So hopefully, if anyone of you guys are listening, thank you. Thank you very much. Do keep watching and look, following channel, and of course that British Guys channel if you're into more gaming and wrestling type things just in case any of you have tuned in so thank you very much tuned in it's not a radio is it tuned in <laughs> thanks yeah up, <laughs> up next Kasabian right. yeah, yeah. Oh okay but yes uh, yeah right well yeah I'll see you I'll, well I won't see you I'll speak to you in another couple of weeks yeah are yeah. you you work on Tuesday yes ah well, then I'll probably be in communications with you then. Yes, indeed, via the and electronic mail. Indeed, and then talking to you here in a couple of weeks' time. Indeed. Cool. Right then, yeah, see you later. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>